9 out of 10 Crystal Skulls agree. Click like and subscribe to the Heavy Underground. Ooh, that one skull, let me tell you. Traversing the land in jubilant celebration of 30 years of vile and fetid sludge dominance, Louisiana's native sons, I Hate God, have enlisted the aid of the original doomed punk Scott Wino Weinrich and his influential power trio, The Obsessed, to mark this auspicious milestone. With 13 shows in 13 days, a whirlwind East Coast run brings these two legendary bands to Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania on September 22, 2018. Flattening Spirit Hall in Pittsburgh's Lawrenceville neighborhood with punishing waves of crusted heaviness and potent doses of enlightened doom. Originally ascending from the DC music scene in 1980, The Obsessed has risen and fallen several times in the past 38 years, with five full length releases, including Incarnate, a compilation consisting of rare and unreleased songs contributing to a legendary reputation. The lone constant gracing each of the band's resurrections is Scott Wino Weinrich. A recent run of Spirit Caravan reunion shows featuring Wino and Dave Sherman led to the obsessed return with the band's 2016 album Sacred. Wino's brainchild, the obsessed, returned from years in the wild in rarefied form and to an incredible demand. His wizened voice and transcendent guitar echoing from a mystical mountain of doom are joined in this current iteration by Reed Rayleigh on bass since 2013 and Brian Constantino on drums since 2016. For 40 years, Wino has continually thrived and inspired several generations of fans. Widely known through a lifetime of collaboration with other musicians, St. Vitus, the aforementioned Spirit Caravan, The Hidden Hand, Premonition 13, to say nothing of his stint with Victor Griffin in Place of Skulls and the Doom Supergroup Shrine Builder, the obsessed is singularly and uniquely Wino's trip now. With over four decades proselytizing for the heavy and the loud, much respect is due to Wino and the singular sonic vision of his long-running band, The Obsessed. Backed by Reed Rayleigh on bass and Brian Constantino on drums, the Obsessed, in 2018, are executing at a powerful level. Always searching, always inquisitive, the music of The Obsessed keys in to timeless concepts of truth and freedom. With a few diversions from The Obsessed's 2016 release Sacred, as well as a couple of older excavations, the emphasis on the church within is most deserved. With a full nine of the band's 13 songs set reaching out across nearly a quarter century of spiritually uplifting doom import to celebrate this masterpiece of loud and heavy. As always, an impassioned performance, the obsessed proffer a set of doom delation for the assembled faithful before the doomsday prophecy of I Hate God, which is soon to follow. Rising from the putrid backwaters of Louisiana in 1988, the distorted sludge hostility of I Hate God has been proselytizing infection across the metal underground for 30 years. In celebration of this virally contagious milestone, our favorite New Orleans swamp rats have been traveling the globe all year to celebrate and commiserate with their sick and depraved fans. Sadly, longtime guitarist Brian Patton had to step down from the band earlier this year due to familial issues. So, for the time being, the fetid five have become the ferocious four, with recent liver recipient Mike Williams, a.k.a. Nine, hurling invective from the center stage, capsizing bass swells from scene and band veteran Gary Mater to his right, Aaron Hill sitting atop the drum throne too soon vacated by the late, great Joe LaCaze directly behind, and the riff lord extraordinaire Jimmy Bauer at Nine's left-hand side. This fearsome, four-headed swamp beast begins their third decade of doomed sludge dominance roaring from the stage. Delivering disorienting hits of aural sickness and sonic depravity, I Hate God level the Pittsburgh audience with a diseased set of classic sludge, covering all five studio affronts, as well as cutting the set with some choice single and EP tracks from their sorted catalog. The band more than plead their case for sludge domination. Acerbic vitriol spits from Nine's lacerated larynx and the viscous churn from Aaron, Gary, and the guitar beast himself, Jimmy Bauer, demolishes and destroys with a voracious attack. While Brian Patton's presence creates a thicker mix of swamp, gas, and bile, 
the current configuration is a foursome, sharpens the edges of the band to elicit a more vicious bite from their already hostile affront. A thoroughly brain-rattling night from the masters of down-to-earth, motherfucking post-amplification blues. Here's to 30 more years of gloriously sordid sonic misanthropy.